Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year everyone. I hope you enjoyed your festive season and your holidays with your families, your loved ones, and uh, your children and wives. Yeah, I hope, it's, and, and brothers, whatever. I hope it was fun, guys. I hope you, you're always safe. And have entered this year with good spirits and, uh, and, and, and yeah, and, 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 and happiness. Now we are back to rugby. For this video, I'm mostly going to be focusing on Ireland. Uh, they are number 10. Johnny Sexton has uh, resigned last year in the World Cup. And now I think I can say they are sitting with a dilemma at 10 in the, in the national side, the Ireland. So traditionally, Ireland usually have good fly halves. Like any other nation, they have good fly halves. These fly halves usually assist them in, in maintaining their success and doing well and winning Six Nations and Grand Slams and, and Leinster and other teams, provinces winning, also dominating in Europe. So the history is that uh, in, in the past they've had, there was a guy called Travis Humphreys. Uh, Humphreys used to play for London Irish and also he, later I think he played for Ulster. One of the provinces of Ireland. It was a great fly half with a good uh, 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 right boot. Uh, he was the during his times he went on to win seventy two caps for Ireland. In the process, scored five hundred and sixty points for the national team of Ireland. Uh, during his time, uh, Humphreys, there was another guy, a young stout developed, came through at Manchester by the name of Ronan O'Gara. O'Gara was promising when he came on at Manchester. He was promising. And when Humphreys was nearly, nearing his uh, retirement time, they had already groomed Ronan O'Gara to be the next guy to take over from Humphreys um, to continue as the next generation for the Irish national rugby team. When O'Gara took on, he was a very good fly half. He won Grand Slams with Ireland in 2009 and also won two Anakin Cups with Munster. Uh, he wore the jersey for 128 caps and went on to score uh, 1,083 points for Ireland. While Ogala was at, uh, playing for Ireland and uh, number 10 for the country, there was another guy developing at Leinster, a young star by the, by the name of uh, uh, Jonathan Sexton. Sexton quickly showed that he had the talent, uh, and then and the national setup brought him in, and they and 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 they groomed him in, with Ogara helping, I think. Although there were some rivalries between them, but they were preparing him to be the next guy to take over when Ogara retires, because Ogara was already old by that time, was nearing his retirement. So when Ogara retired, he went into coaching, and Sexton was the one who took over. So again, there was another smooth transition. From fly half old of the old to the new fly half, which was Sexton at this time. We all know Jonathan Sexton did very well. He was a great fly half, a warrior fly half, uh, a soldier you could take to war. Uh, he was uh, the way he controlled games, uh, the way he would motivate the players around him. He was a great player. He won Henneken Cups and won Six Nations with uh, Leinster and Ireland, you know, respectively. During uh, Johnny Sexton's time, there was another fly half who came into prom to promise for Ireland, who was showing a lot of promise, and by by the name by the name of uh, Paddy Jackson. Paddy Jackson committed with, although I wouldn't say committed with him, but he showed promise to be the next guy also to wear the ten for Ireland. He wore for a few times, but uh, he didn't do it for too long for Ireland because now his career was was uh, cut short by a scandal that he was involved in. And his contracts were all revoked by Ireland, and the team was playing for in Ireland. So Ireland had to now bring in someone else, and then another guy came in uh, to compete or back up to Sexton, and his name was Joe Carberry from Munster. Carberry was given some time also to play to show his his his, his, his skills, uh, to show that he can take the jersey going forward, but. He led, I think, for according to my opinion, he led that uh, edge to be the top 
uh, international fly half to be to be the one who who, who, in, who in who takes over the jersey when Sexton uh, leaves. As time went on, Kabari fell out of favor because there were other guys coming on for Ireland. On the list, there was Jack Crowley, and there was Jack Crowley, Ross Pine, and then there was also a Kieran Frawley. Uh, so, uh, uh, amongst these guys, I would say Jack Crowley has won, uh, is in the forefront of being the one who's going to continue for Ireland. So when Johnny Sexton retired last year, there was not really, I don't think there was a, there were, there were, there is a, there is a clear picture on who exactly is going to continue in the long term at 10 for Ireland. As I said, Jack Crowley is one who's promising. I think it's because he's the better of the three that I've mentioned. Also, behind these three guys, there are also new uh, youngsters at Lanster. There's a uh, Terry Pine and uh, the 20 year old talented Sam Pranakast. These two youngsters are showing a lot of promise. And uh, they're also in the in the in, in the in the run to wear that number 10 for Ireland. So Ireland are going to uh, announce their Six Nations squad soon, and they will have to. They will have three slots in the in the Six Nations squad, in the fly department, and I think that uh, they are, they should select the following people in the in the in that in, the, in those slots. The first half, the first option should be Jack Crowley at ten. At the first option, sorry. Uh, the second option, the second guy they should select at ten. I think eesh, it's gonna be tricky. I think they're gonna have to go with Ross Pine. And the third guy, I think they have to really be brave now. They have to, <clears throat> they have to select Sam Prendergast for the for the Six Nations, twenty twenty four. I think Sam Prendergast, in the long term, he has shown that he has the edge, <clears throat> he has the demeanor, he has the the look, the natural look of a ten. He's a risk taker. He's very skillful with the hands. Also, he kicks well. You know, he's shown some confidence, some very good moments in his in his career up up until uh, uh, so far. I think Ireland need to beg this guy going to the in the future. Uh, he needs beg. I know he's still very young. Some people may say that it's too early. I don't think it's too early. I think if you know a guy, twenty years old, he has the skill. I think I believe that if he can be begged fully, he can develop and become better. Than Jonathan Sexton, I believe that he has what it takes to be the better guy, to be the the best fly half uh, for Ireland they have ever produced. It won't be easy though because the other guys also maybe who are competing with him, so it won't be easy for him. But I believe if they pick this guy, he can give them uh, uh, the fruits. Sometimes players need to be just begged to gain to gain experience going forward, like players like for example in the Springboks. Uh, Damien Willemse and Andre Estherson had to be backed by the coaches, because when they started, they were not that, they were not that good. There was no war factor. But and uh, after a few tests, they were given a few tests, and then they managed to gradually uh, get experience and be at ease. And then they, 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 they now they are really, they are, the South Africa is reaping the fruits now from backing those guys. So I think the same thing needs to apply to some Prendergast. Back him up. Give him the experience, introduce him to the international level, the setup, just make him carry tackling bags there and there, you know, just to see what it's like and give him a few tests there and there. I think the future is very good with this guy. He is the guy I think will take Allen going forward. It won't be Jack Crowley, it won't be Ross Bine, it won't be Kieran Forley, it won't be uh, Harry Bine. Sam Pranakast is the guy going forward for them. He's still young, inexperienced. But is very talented. I've seen potential. Sometimes you must back the potential. Sometimes you must take the risk on the player, back him up. He will your rewards will be great. 
Thanks so much. Enjoy evening. Thanks.